just hard because there's just all these conversations we have to have because racism is just, you know, it's bad right now. We have to have all these people of color. We have to have all these conversations. And unfortunately, we have to have them with white people. <laughs> It'd be easy for you to just have them with each other. There's racism right there. Sure is. Papa, see you later. And I'm not mad at you, white people. Let me be clear. I'm not mad at you. You're not the ones who are here. You're some of the good ones. You're not like the rest. You speak so well. All I'm trying to say is... <laughs> I like you like, hey, that started out as a conflict, but then it hurt my feelings. I know, I know. I learned it from you, Dad. I learned it from you. Yeah, so, but it's just, you have to have these conversations, and it's just this weird thing. Like, white people, sometimes your response to stories of racism are just so troubling. And I'm talking about, like, I'm not talking about, like, the, on the, the right, because the right has the same response. When you, if you tell somebody on the right you had a racist thing happen, they go, there's no such thing as racism. You go, okay, I'll block you on Twitter. We're done here, you know? <laughs> I don't got to watch Fox News. I can turn the channel, you know? But then there's that thing that happens with white people who are your friends, who are on the left, and that thing where you go, where you go, hey, I had a thing happen, it was racism. They go, how'd you know it was racism? <laughs> See, every black person, oh, oh, people of color, oh, no, yeah. How, so you, do you get that response sometimes? Yeah. How do you know it's racist? And it happens like this. How do you know it's racist? <laughs> With like a shuffle step. How do you know it's racist? <laughs> like, because I'm kind of an expert in this. I've been studying it my whole life, whether I wanted to or not. I kind of know. And let me just explain why people, this is what it sounds like when you say that to us, because I don't think you get how crazy that sounds. It would be like if I was to run into you on the street, collective white person. And I was like, hey, what do you do today? I was like, well, I got up, I ran some errands, and I had lunch. What did you have for lunch? I had pizza. How'd you know it was pizza? <laughs> You'd be like, what are you talking about? Because I knew it was pizza. It was clearly said pizza. I have pizza almost every day. That's what I think is suspicious. How are you having all this pizza every day? Because there's pizza everywhere in the world. No, I don't see all this pizza you're seeing. I don't think you had pizza. Are you sure it wasn't pita bread with cheese on it? Are you sure it wasn't pita bread with cheese on it? No, it was pizza. I've eaten a lot of pizza in my life. My parents ate a lot of pizza. My grandparents ate a lot of pizza. My great-grandparents, my great-great-great-grandparents were brought to this country to make pizza, but they weren't allowed to eat it weirdly. I know it was goddamn pizza. I don't know, let me ask somebody else who's never had pizza. Come here, you've never had pizza. Do you think that, I don't think it was pizza. He's always talking about pizza. Now I have to kill you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, how do I know it's pizza? That's what it sounds like, white people. <laughs> and then there's a new thing that has happened, a new response at white people who are trying to be your friends and they think they're helping you. Like that thing, that horrible thing happened in South Carolina where the young girl, black teenage girl, was thrown across the room by the cop and it was horrible. And it was like a 15 second video. And there's white people going like, I need the whole story. What, a cop walks over, picks up a black girl, throws her across the room? Yeah, but that's only 15 seconds long. I need the whole story. How do we, when are we gonna get the whole story? I just feel like, all right, this is what I do, do this. You want the whole story? Our story begins during the transatlantic slave trade. <laughs> there was a big boat, and black people were packed on tight, and they shipped us across the water. Then they made us work for a long time and didn't pass anything. And then eventually a black girl was picked up and thrown across the room in South Carolina. <laughs> By then they're like, I don't want that story. I thought you wanted the whole story! <laughs> That's the whole story. <laughs> no, I just meant like another minute of the video. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> you didn't mean the context. <laughs> you didn't mean history. You just meant like you wanted another minute of the video. Like she had said before the video started, could you please throw me across the room violently? <laughs> yes, I can do that. Ah, see, now I got the whole story. <laughs> it's just crazy. And then the whole thing with like, it's just trying to talk, have these discussions about structural racism and, and uh, institutionalized racism. And then out of it comes this beautiful thing, the Black Lives Matters movement. And it's this beautiful thing that comes out of it that is a way to sort of crystallize the problem, Black Lives Matter. And then some white people, all lives matter. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's not a thing. Nobody ever said all lives matter before black lives matter. You're just trying to shit on black lives matter by saying all lives matter. Before black lives matter, if you'd walk in the room and said all lives matter, people were like, well, you had an accident recently? What are you talking about? <laughs> 
Lives Matter, what are you talking about? And then some white people are like, white lives matter. We know, we, <laughs> there's no confusion around that. <laughs> we get it. And the, the white lives matter, we're quite sure about that. But the thing is true is that white people, let's be honest, you don't even care that much about other white people to even make that viral, you know what I mean? <laughs> you care about yourself and white people you know, but you don't collectively care about enough white people to make that matter that white lives matter. They just sort of do matter, but you're not fired up about it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, there's a dude in Salt Lake City, uh, in Utah. This guy, Dylan Taylor, white guy killed by a cop. White people, what, you, you didn't, nothing? <laughs> nothing? No, you're like, I don't know, what did he do wrong? Yeah, that's what you thought. Like, he must have done something wrong like all the black people do things. Like, yeah, you didn't get fired up about that. Think about that, Jerry Fogel, white people, you just dropped him like a bad habit. There was not, <laughs> there wasn't a protest, a hashtag, a rally, you're like, ugh, mm -mm, fuck it, I'm going to Quiznos, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need Subway that badly.